is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 3 and this video is gonna be about the 811 update on the MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 of course and here I am running this ROM from a couple of hours now and I have to say this is literally the smoothest experience you can get on MIUI but over here I have been noticing some things which are a little bit different from the Note 5 Pro video of the MIUI 10 if you have seen on the same update and over here the battery icon which like the percentage over here on the redmi note 5 pro is in the like middle of the battery icon but over here it's not the case it's to the sides if you show it to graphical and i have seen some other bugs too like just look at the time like it's 727 it shows whereas let me just show you as you can see the time is 457 actually as of now 457 pm but it shows 727 somehow but let me show you the settings and let's go to additional settings and from here let's go to date and time and over here as you can see everything is set to automatic and it should be adjusting the time according to the wi-fi but it doesn't i don't know why and let me just show you the region over here is already set to india and in date and time the time zone is set to like GMT plus 8 I don't know for what reason it should be set it as the GMT plus 530 so let me just do that I think it's the cities so here we have Kolkata and now as you can see the time is right now fine so it is kind of a bug it's even present on the Redmi Note 5 Pro's MIUI beta ROM I don't know when it will be fixed and over here if you talk that what's new and what are the things over here that I am noticing is new and first of the things that I'll talk about is the camera well what's new let me switch to front camera maybe and over here let me just show you I just took this portrait selfie I'll show you in the screen right here and by the way I can take portrait selfies now you have for that you have to just switch to the front camera then you will see this portrait option over here so this is just great that we have the portrait selfies but it does not show you the live view kind of thing so that is that you can disable the beauty option if you need it from here as you can see let me switch to the back camera now and in video let me just show you the video settings over here we have the full hd 1080p 30 fps and you can't shoot 4k of course you don't even have the 1080p 60 fps which option is there in the Redmi Note 5 Pro so that is how it is of course it's a two and a half or three year old device so we can't expect too much from it but it's getting the updates and it's running fine and here is a quick settings panel again and you can like swipe over here and you can add bunch of stuff from here inside hotspot let me show you here let me show you you do have the five gigahertz hotspot option too if you need it and let me tell you what still sucks about this rom for that let me just go into about section and over here he will see these kind of promotions of me why pages over here in the about section and if i scroll down here it says the device name as redmi note 3 and we have the android version still stuck at marshmallow which is really disappointing but we can't help it and the security patch level as you can see it's still of august and here it says the miui version miui 10 8 11 1 beta and over here still one bug is there that the apps takes too long to install so that is pretty annoying if you use it on a daily basis you will definitely notice it and even the google play services took like 30 minutes to update like for just updating it so that just sucks but like in terms of normal apps it will take like maybe three to four minutes to install each app so that is not good but app openups are fine let me just show you and let me open up a couple of apps so here as you can see the app open up times are fast enough and you have like the memory management is fine too right now you don't need to worry about memory management too but the browser app four stopped so in MIUI you have to like get used to it here again you saw the ad so right now as you can see the memory management looks fine 
but don't expect it to be as good as the stock android based roms they are going to be pretty like lot better than this mi y in terms of ram management at least and over here we have this mi y 10 recent panel as you can see and you can just go to split screen from here and you can swipe to like remove any app from the memory and you can clear all of them from just by one tapping this button so everything is fine but one thing that i want to talk about is if you want the best gaming performance without like draining the battery please switch to this miui because miui will get you a lot better gaming experience in my opinion because custom roms does drain a lot of battery while gaming on the redmi note 3 for some reason so if you want the best gaming experience again just switch to miui and this rom will give you like three to four hours of screen on time maybe and over here the weather app and stuff is gonna be like fine as you can see the weather apps and stuff is working fine everything does work super fine over here you don't need to worry about stuff and every app does open like fast enough but again app installation times are really really long and you will get these kind of ads everywhere here as you can see we are getting this diwali ad so that is that you can't really help it and in terms of day-to-day -day usage this rom is fine you don't have to worry about like huge stutters or huge lags because in my opinion this rom is holding up pretty well and in terms of scrolling and stuff this rom is like almost lag free maybe and google pay or stuff will be working super fine right after you install the rom so that is good and vaulty calls or even video calls with geo will be working super fine too on this rom and what else i would say this rom is great like if you want to be at the most stable experience or if you want to get the most stable out of miui and if you love miui please switch to this rom maybe and that will give you the most good experience in terms of the miui kind of experience but if you want to switch to custom rom and if you don't like miui just switch to havoc os android pi best rom and that is pretty great i have a video on that rom here will be a card for that so maybe you got the idea about this rom and let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the miui update and that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from kd index signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now